Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dania and for today's video we're gonna be playing around with a palette that most of you know, which is the Jaclyn Hill in collaboration with Morphe and we're gonna be recreating a uh, basically creating a prompt makeup tutorial and that's gonna be super easy and it's gonna be the one I'm wearing on my eyes right now um, so if you're interested and want to recreate it please keep on watching before we jump onto the video I want to quickly remind you to subscribe click the bell click the like button you can also find me on social media on Instagram Facebook and Pinterest at live makeup talk and let's get started with the video so for today's video we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette in collaboration with Morphe and one of the reasons that I wanted to do that is because number one it's old and kind of a remarkable palette that I think by now everyone has uh, in their drawers so you don't have to go and buy it um, if you do well you're gonna have a palette with a variety of colors that can be used not only for special occasions, but like for an everyday look or for an everyday makeup look. Um, so that's the main reason I will be using this palette for today's video. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is prime our eyelids. Um, for today's video, I will not keep it on their budget or like on a budget. Um, I will be using some stuff that are not that cheap. Uh, but you can use anything that you have that works for you and anything that you want and you like. So yeah, let's just get started. And just like I said in my previous video that was a prom makeup as well, um, you may want to have a facial done a few days prior to your prom, to your event. It doesn't have to be your prom, but your wedding, your graduation, your graduation, your prom, your I don't know whatever you have going on that is very special that you need some good makeup on um, you may want to have a facial done a uh, few days prior to the event you may want to wear a mask a hydrating mask just so your face it's well hydrated and it's looking glowy and healthy which is uh, what we want at the end of the day so um, yeah that would be my recommendation Make sure you have your eyebrows done, make sure you have your face done, like if you shave your face, make sure you do it a night before or the day of the event. If you get uh, bumps or if your skin gets irritated when you shave, I do not recommend you to do it like the day of the event, um, but that's on you. For this, I will be using the e.l.f. little strips um, for the eyes so the eyeshadow doesn't go uh, everywhere and uh, just for your own safety and you don't ruin your makeup one is everything on I will recommend that you do your makeup before like your eyes before you do your whole face um, just because if you don't know the eyeshadows or if you haven't worked with the eyeshadows and you don't know if they're gonna have a certain amount of fallout you don't want to have it underneath your eyes and then have a mess basically underneath your eyes um, so yeah I do recommend that you do this uh, the eyes before you do your whole face. So let's just get started. So first things first, we're gonna start with a transition shade and for that I will grab this shade right in here. Um, I, they don't have a name so it's gonna be very hard for me to show you guys which one I will be using but I'll be using this one right here. And like the title says, this tutorial is for people with brown eyes. I'm not saying that it's only for people that has brown eyes, but it's intended to people that has brown eyes just because I have always struggled with um, either buying contacts or color contacts or just finding, I guess, tutorials for uh, brown eyes. But yeah, here we go. Next, with the Sigma E38, we're gonna grab the yellow mustard color, which is uh, this one right in here, and we're gonna apply it right under the one we just did. And now we're gonna jump onto the Morphe M505, and I will be using this color right here, which is kind of like a reddish color. Uh, this one right here um, right where we apply the yellow kind of uh, and then we'll jump onto a second color and 
now we're gonna jump onto the eyelid and for that I'm going to be using this darker um, red burgundy color and I will apply and I will apply that all over my eyelid. Right after we have done this step, we're gonna go with the Morphe M505, the same that we used with the lighter red, and we're gonna just probably tap a little bit of the color onto the brush and just blend this hard edge that you can see that divides the two colors, and we're just gonna blend. And as you can see, we didn't really have to do um, too much blending. Um, the eyeshadow blended like a dream. It's just kind of all the colors well mixed together. Um, so now we are going to take these little bands off and we're going to jump onto uh, doing the rest of our face now that we're done. Basically with what would worry you much more than anything else on the eyes. So we're going to just go ahead and finish the face i will show you which products i'll be using since i recently discovered some of my products that i for some reason stopped using um, but yeah let's just jump on to doing the face so now to prime my face i will be using two products this is the hangover 3-in-1 replenishing primer and setting spray by Too Faced and the complexion primer by urban decay this is to cover your pores and this is to hydrate so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and if you want your face to look smooth and basically sleek um, you want to go ahead and use a pore filling primer um, you don't have to use much, you just have to probably like that, that much. And I will just spread it on my fingers, spread it on my nose, my forehead, and the rest will be for my this problem area, which is like my cheeks or like this part of my face. Probably apply too much on the nose. You don't want to go in too much with this primer though because it tends to get really oily um, if you do use too much. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that you do that much on your face. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do like for the base of the face. And I will jump onto foundation. And just like I said before, you do want to make sure that your foundation doesn't have any type of SPF as well as your primer um, because what SPF will do is that it will have a flashback on your photos and you don't want to look white or you don't want your face to look whiter than your the rest of your body. Um, so uh, for foundation, I will be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I'm in the shade 290. It's been a minute since the last time I used this foundation, so that's the reason I will be using this one specifically. Um, this, it's kind of like not my shade, but I'm too broke to buy the right one. Plus, I got shade matched in Sephora, at Sephora, and you know how that goes. So, uh, we're just gonna apply this real quick and continue to do the rest of the face. I just quickly went ahead and finished the rest of my face. I used these same products that I have been using, I think for the past whatever videos I have been posting here on YouTube. Um, I didn't use anything different. Uh, everything will be listed on the description box down below. And now to finish the eyes, we're actually gonna grab the Sigma E38, the one we grabbed the yellow shade uh, with. And we're gonna grab the lightest the lighter red that we applied first which was uh, this one right here this one um, and we're gonna apply that on the lower lash line once 
once we have this done, we're going to jump onto the burgundy red color that we applied all over the eyelid and I will just apply it at the end like the outer corner just to uh, mix this harsh line that we have going on right here and yeah and so once we have that done we're gonna jump onto basically just finish the eyes and I will grab this Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the shade Distortion and this is like a glitter eyeliner and I will apply that like kind of cutting the crease and on the inner corner as well um, then we're gonna jump onto applying lashes I think I will do that off camera but I will leave the information of the lashes that I will be using and we will be done I will now do my lashes off camera and um, I think we will be done and since we already have too much going on the eyes going on on the eyes we're gonna apply velvet teddy by Mac and that's gonna be basically our lipstick and our look will be completed we just need to um, set it with this setting spray that we use as a primer at the beginning of the video so this would be the end of the video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did please don't forget to subscribe click the like button and also click the bell um, you can also find me on Instagram Facebook and Pinterest at life makeup talk and I will see you in my next video bye guys Till I get up, time is barely on our side